Today I'm showing you guys how to set up your onboard generator for long-term storage. We'll go ahead and get started. This is super easy. We'll first take off the side panel and remove this and put it to the side. Then we got to go back to your onboard fuel tank because we need to add a fuel additive and run it through the system. Now you can pick a product of your choice. I prefer Lucas products myself, but the stable brand works well and I'll have links in the description. Next, we need to figure out approximately how much fuel do we have on board. I have almost a half a tank, so I'm going to add the appropriate amount of stabilizer for the amount of fuel that I have. After adding the fuel stabilizer, it's not a bad idea to get the fuel to slosh around the tank to help mix it up. Or if you have a toy hauler, go ahead and take the nozzle, put it back into the gas tank, and then let it run for about 30 seconds. This will help mix it up and also get the fuel stabilizer going through the pump the hose, and then also the nozzle. That way it's treated as well when you go ahead and put it into storage. Next, you're gonna wanna get your generator running. That way we can get the fuel stabilizer all the way through the system. So we're gonna do this for about 10 or 15 minutes. And you also wanna go ahead and put a load on your generator. That way it can work for a little bit before going into storage. So go ahead and turn on like an AC unit or even maybe a couple electric heaters if you have those. That way you put on at least a 50% load. Now go ahead and shut down your generator and on to the next step. So next we need to do an oil change and the easiest way really to do this is by using a suction canister or a Mighty Vac. I'll have links in the description as well, but this is really the quickest way and remember the engine is hot when you are doing this, but all you have to do is basically buy one of these pumps and then you just stick a hose in there, you pump the nozzle a couple times and the oil comes flying out. This is way easier than crawling underneath your trailer and then taking the little drain plate off and then getting oil everywhere, possibly in your face, on your arm and more. When this is so much easier as it just goes right into the oil canister and makes quick work and it also saves your back. Now that the oil is pretty much done, go ahead and pull out the tube and then you're just going to go ahead and clean up any part of a mess that you may have made and then we're going to go ahead and add our oil. Now this part of the video of me filling up the generator didn't make it, but all you need is an SAE 30 or a 15W 40 weight, and you're only going to use a conventional oil of about 1.5 quarts, but make sure you fill it up slow or you will make a mess, have plenty of rags available. Go ahead and restart your generator. Now this is the next step we got to do is we have to take off the air box. On the air box, you have two wing nuts or thumb screws, however you want to pronounce it. Go ahead and remove the first one. And now behind the cover plate, you have a second one that holds the air filter. After removing that, we're going to go ahead and remove the air filter and just set this to the side, which this can be a little bit of a job getting it out, but take your time as to not damage it. Now that we have a clear path to the carburetor throat, this is what we need because we are going to be using an additive inside the generator. So most of the time when you store these for long term, you pull the spark plug out and you add a little bit of oil to the cylinder. You cycle it a few times and then you put the spark plug back in. But since it's upside down, we can't do that. So we're going to be using a different method. We're going to be using something called a fogging oil. And this is real popular in the marine industry because this is what we would use on jet skis and boats back when I worked at the marine shop. And this would get them ready for long term storage. And so what we have to do is spray this inside the carburetor throat. This will suck it into the engine and it's going to coat the cylinder and the valves and prevent the cylinders from rusting and pitting as it sits for a long time. And this will prevent premature wear. Now you don't want to just press and squeeze the nozzle and hold it. You want to kind of press a little at a time and then just kind of keep it going back and forth. And then you'll see the smoke start coming out. And this is basically the burn off of the product. And it's going to start putting an oil coat inside of the engine. And once you start getting a lot of fog, that's actually when you know you're doing it right. And so if you kind of listen how I'm doing it, what we're going to do is shut off the engine when we get down to about half throttle, because if you do too much, you can hydraulic the engine and actually cause damage. So be careful doing this. It's just a stream on and off until you get a bunch of smoke looking like this. And then we're going to go ahead and shut off the generator here in just a second and try not to breathe any of that in because it's not exactly the healthiest stuff. And there we go, that's about it. We'll let it die. Now you can see all that smoke. Good thing nobody's around, but that's pretty much it for that part. We're gonna go ahead and let it sit again for about 10 or 15 minutes. And this is a good time to go ahead and reassemble everything. So go ahead and put your air filter back in. And just take your time doing that so you don't damage the filter. Get the wing nut, put on the first one. Now we're gonna go ahead and get our cover plate. 
and the little indentation goes down and towards the back of the generator. After putting the cover back on, we have just a couple more steps to go and then we'll be finished. Okay, now we have to start the engine, but we don't want to fully start it. We're going to bump start it and let it run for about a second. That's about it. So go ahead and watch. All we have to do is get some compression built in the motor to kind of get some fog built up in there from the heat. And that'll basically coat the cylinder. And that's all we're going to do is right there. Go ahead and shut it off. You see a little bit of smoke. Now that smoke is basically inside the cylinder. It's going to coat it. So that part is done. Now we got to drain the carburetor of all the fuel that's in there. And this will only take about another minute or two. Go ahead and get a rag and just place it under there because this is a lot quicker than trying to find a tube to attach to the bottom. Then we're going to open up the float bowl drain screw and this will just drain the fuel onto your rag. Make sure you shove plenty of the rag in there because it's only going to drain for about 10, maybe 15 seconds. And then it'll pretty much be done. So you can see it's kind of draining in there. I'll show you here in just a second. A little bit more fuel still coming out. We're almost done. Make sure this is all the way open. A couple more drips. And now that that's fully drained, we can go ahead and close that back up. And then we'll double check our work to make sure everything is done. Tighten that down. Pretty much good to go. So now we've added fuel stabilizer to the whole fuel system. We changed our oil and we added fogger and we drained the float bowl. So for the most part, this job is pretty much done. Your generator is now good to sit for several months or even a couple years, even though they don't really like to sit that long, but sometimes people put these into storage for a long time. So at least now you know your generator is protected. So you can go ahead and take this off to the storage facility or wherever it is you need to take it. But I hope you liked the video. Be sure to subscribe.